Broward County School Board meeting today, almost a week after students return to school. Of course, it's much different this year with classes online, and local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela is live in Fort Lauderdale with what school leaders are already seeing following the virtual return. Hatzel. Well, Janice, remember it was last Wednesday, so almost a week since schools here in Broward County started online. Today, we're hearing from the superintendent who said it is very difficult, and I'm quoting here, very difficult to run this district under these circumstances. Also telling us, based on parent feedback and student feedback and teacher feedback, they are changing schedules for kids in pre-K through first grade. We will keep live, whole, and small group instruction across the content areas in the morning with necessary breaks and provide flexibility in the afternoon time. Where Superintendent Robert Runcy says this will allow students to work offline without screen time. It is enormously difficult to run a school district under these circumstances. Moreover, it places a heavy burden on parents and is likely to impact the social, emotional, and academic growth of children. Runcy says every day he's looking at opportunities to reopen the physical classroom. Tomorrow, it'll be a week since Broward School started the school year, but online. If the current trends continue on the path of improvement, we could open sometime this fall. Again, I cannot guarantee or commit to any specific date as the path of the virus will drive the decisions we have to make. A key checkpoint, he says, to revisit the idea of reopening schools will come after the Labor Day weekend. We will continue to watch for that rate to remain between 3 and 5 percent for 14 consecutive days. So the superintendent also talked about athletics. He says expect a decision on Thursday on whether athletics moves into phase one. Phase one, he says, means workouts and strength training. We'll keep you posted on that. For now, reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.